welcome back to my channel my name is Desiree and it's very nice to meet you in today's video we're going to do a little Sephora haul and try on and I'll just it's not enough to do a full face so I will be doing other products as well um, and so that's kind of gonna be this video is a like um, a haul a try on a review kind of thing so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and press the subscription button down below and um, just thank you for being here so we're gonna get into it okay so for primer um, I thought this was discontinued I haven't personally used it myself but um, I don't know I looked up and it says it's still on um, Walmart's website and Amazon so I guess you can get it um, it's the CoverGirl true blend base business I did have this in my um, declutter and I said if I didn't use it um, and I didn't like it then I would end up decluttering it at some point but I haven't even used it so I'm going to try it out. This is the skin smoothing primer so I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to kind of do my base because I don't have any um, products from Sephora in my base uh, routine right, that I'm doing right now so I'm going to do that and then we will get into the haul. Okay, so first off, this does feel smoothing, but it also feels more like pore filling. It does have a light, like, lotion smell to it. Um, it's not very greasy. It is very smoothing. kind of reminds me of that little sample that I was using from Estee Lauder, but it's not so silicone-y. Um, I feel like it does, like, fill in the pores a little bit. Okay, so for foundation, I picked this up at, um, I think this was Marshall's, uh, not too long ago, but I haven't tried it. It is the Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear. Um, this is, it has SPF 15 in it. I got shade, let's see, I'm not sure what shade I got. It doesn't really say. Um, oh. 110. I got shade 110, and I'm pretty sure this is really light for me. I'm just gonna like put like a little swipe on my face. Uh, yeah, that's very light. Okay, but it does kind of blend in. Oh, that really shears out. Okay, well, that really does shear out. Well, I'm gonna put it on the face, and if it doesn't work, I'll add like some bronzing drops. But I'm just gonna kind of put that all over the face. I didn't expect it to shear out as much as it did, which is fine because it's like, I know that this is like, this hasn't expired. It doesn't expire until next year. Um, but practically like a year from now. Um, but I know that they like redid their packaging and their formula or something. So I think that's why it was there at, um, Marshall's. I'm pretty sure either that was TJ Maxx. I, I don't really remember which one it was, but this is really shearing out. So it's not really a full coverage product which this is not like new so I'm sure many people know about this but um this is new for me and I'm quite surprised because when it goes on like it seems full coverage actually that's not a bad skin match since it shears out so much okay so I guess we're gonna just do like a light makeup look today I'm gonna try to like layer this on again because that's like really sheer but yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so I really like this. Like, even though you can tell it's still a little light from my skin tone, like, it's not really that bad. And I can just easily bronze this up. It is very light to, like, semi-medium coverage. It's not, like, a whole lot. Um, I do like that it has SPF in it. And it does seem to sit on the face pretty well. I mean, it kind of does, like, sink in a little bit. But I guess because it's... Just more of a tint so i guess i don't know i saw the tint but for some reason i still kind of expected it to be a little bit more full coverage but anyways okay so um, i'm not really gonna do like much on the eyes tonight so i'm just going to um just go kind of into the like face products that i got from sephora so i did every already take everything out of the packages um and i did kind of test all of them out like a little bit but this would only be like my second time using them so it's still like fairly new i just i couldn't wait so i just went ahead and did it okay so um i got the rare beauty liquid blush in shade joy this is gorgeous so i'm not really like an orange type like I like more of your pink blushes like this isn't really that orange though like it is but when it goes on the face it's not like I expected 
like I was able to share this out in the store and let me tell you it is vibrant like it is there but it's not like that like I don't know like that bold like it just looks nice okay and then second product I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm uh, blush wand this is voila I just barely squeezed a little bit out Oh, so gorgeous. I love the glow that this gives right here. And it's very like, I don't know, it's blendable. So you could kind of make it like light coverage, even though it has like that shimmer on pop, you could definitely make it more sheer and natural. Okay, third product that I got is Rare Beauty. Um, this is their uh, contour stick or the bronzer stick and Happy Soul. But I got more of a contour shade for me. Because I've kind of gotten to like, I mean, it's still can bronze, but it's, for me, it's a little bit cool. So, um, I think it's one of the lightest shades, but here it is, right here. Um, I kind of like just chisel it right there. The one time I did use it, I absolutely loved it. I'm kind of getting more into like the contour and then bronzing. Um, and this is perfect. It's not dark. It's not light. Like, it's just the perfect shade for me. And this formula is very creamy. Okay. The fourth product that I got is the Calia Yum Pistachio Gelato number 33. I just got a little sample. Um, it smells amazing. Just the notes in it made me want to like wish I had some to eat. It um, the notes made it seem like it was going to smell like like food, like ice cream, and it really does. It does have like a very like perfume kind of like scent to it, if that makes sense. No, it's not like super sweet. Like it is sweet, but it also has like this mature like perfume kind of style to it which I absolutely love and it smells incredible so very grateful for this um it was I think this is the only like little sample size I get I think this is 10 milliliter 0.34 fluid ounces and this would last you like a good moment okay and the fifth and final product that I got is the Charlotte Silver airbrush um flawless finish this is in fair this is their powder. I have seen so many people talk about this and I absolutely wanted to get it. So this was a bit of a splurge for me, but I'm super excited to try all these things and keep using them. So let's get in. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Rare Beauty um, bronzing stick. Oh my gosh, I'm getting blush all over it. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go straight onto the face. I kind of like a little bit more coverage than I think the, uh, like, um, brush would give. So I'm going to kind of just go in and blend this out. And so this is kind of like a, it has like an orange to it, but it's not like super bronzy. That's why I liked this shade. It's very natural, which goes with, I guess, the whole look that we're going for. I don't know about all of you but i am burning up it is it's getting warmer definitely here in north carolina it is definitely getting warmer so i'm just going in with my beauty blender normally i would just go with a brush but because i'm going for a more natural look so just a little bit is all i need there we go just enough to give a little bit of shape to the base of course i could do more but it is nighttime, so I'm not gonna go too all out there. Okay, so next I have blush. So I think I am going to do both of these. Use this more as a highlighter and this as the actual blush. So I'm gonna go in with just a little dot. I love the packaging of this, it's so nice. So it's just a little dot on the high points of the cheek. And just blend that out. This is very nice, very dewy. Um, I don't think, I don't know, this might be the matte. I've heard that there's like matte and there's like, like a shimmer one. I could be wrong, but I just like saw the shade and got it. Um, I think this might be a matte formula. I'm not really quite sure. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. That's like got a little less. These are pigmented, but I feel like you can't really like overdo it. I mean, you kind of could, but like they're pretty blendable. So, unless you just are going way crazy, I feel like this would be an easy 
blush to use like all the time like pretty pretty blendable i really like it like it's just like i have kind of like rosy cheeks anyway so this kind of looks like my cheeks and for me this kind of looks like my cheeks because it's like a subtle like light um red orange so i like it okay now i'm gonna go in with the wand and do remember these have a on and off little buttons like little twist so don't not turn it off like remember to screw it off okay so i know that a lot of you probably know the prices of all this stuff but in case you don't um i will just let you know um let's see let me find my receipt well um okay so anyway you can just look it up and um everything is you know and like the 20s range but it's really worth it in my opinion because these products seem like they will definitely last a long time and they are very blendable very easy to work with and you just need a little bit okay so i am going to just put a little bit of powder bronzer and blush on and then we'll just do like a little bit in the eyes and a little bit of the rest of my face we're not going to do too much so let's see i think i'm gonna try this i haven't really tried this i've only swatched it this isn't a new product either, but it's new to me. This is the Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus. I did kind of dip my finger in there, but I haven't like actually used it. Um, this might be a little darker on my skin tone, but I'm just gonna go with it. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, okay, let's see. Let's do a little bronzing action. Of course, it's going to be a little shimmery. Wait, is that is that bronzing color? No, it's really not. Let's see. Do more of a highlighter. Well, I'm just going to go with it. It has quite the glow. This look is very glowy anyway, so it's okay. Very glowy look. Okay, so that is good. Um, we're going to dip into the blush. Oh, uh, the um, little, I guess shimmery bronzer i guess you could say that i just used was hibiscus and creamy rose and this one is petal which is silky pink which i don't really need more blush but i guess just to set it a little bit i'm just gonna put a little bit on top because i got some blush going on okay so highlighter this is technically a highlighter but it doesn't seem like it's gonna really be my color but we're just gonna go for it this one is um dewdrop in illuminating gleam I guess it could work. I do already have that Charlotte Tilbury, but there's nothing wrong with some extra glue. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. We we're really looking shimmery today. Okay, so for brows, I'm just gonna put in just some brow gel, nothing fancy, just a clear brow gel. I actually don't even know this brand. Let's see. Just says Bow Down Brow Gel by Queen Studio Quivine Studio. Um, it was I think this was like a BoxyCharm product at one point. I like don't even know this brand. I could be wrong. It could be BoxyCharm or Epsi. One of those. Um, I'm pretty sure this is an older product, but that's okay. Okay, so just a little slick up of the brows. They're just looking all nice and clean. I didn't do any um like concealer because for me this is a pretty natural look and I could put in a little bit of this tart shaped hip glow wand it's like it's not I don't know like it's probably not the same but it could kind of be compared to like the rare beauty um glow wands I'm pretty sure or like the I don't know but they're the they're the little like brighteners I under eye brighteners that just came out I think these could be comparable although this has been out for much longer just put a little glow under the eyes doesn't really give much coverage but it does awaken the under eyes okay so there we go just a little bit of coverage and for the lips we're just gonna do a little bit of lip gloss I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Heat uh, gloss in Fussy Heat 
glow, do a little, little lip action. Okay, so that is basically it. We're just gonna go in with the powder and set it. So, oops. Okay, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless uh, Setting Powder. I'm going to just take this lightly all over the face. And it is very like blurring. Like you can see, like that's nice and blurred, and that's still like very shiny. You can see the difference. Like, of course, you can still see some shine through it, but it's not like this, like where it has just a lot of luminosity. Like this really kind of like tones it down a little bit, it sets it into place. This is a very nice, soft, kind of natural filling powder. Absolutely love this. Gonna put a little on the under eyes. Now this is what I really like it to be under the under eyes. It looks so smoothing and it is so nice. Absolutely love it. Okay, so we're just gonna put a hint of mascara on and we're pretty much gonna be done. So this is my trying those products. Those products to me are more of a natural kind of like makeup product like you could obviously build it up and definitely glam it out definitely for sure but i feel like just like on the go they can be very natural products if you just like simple makeup they definitely can be glam or natural because they are buildable but they are very also blendable Okay, so that is basically it. I'm just going to put a little shimmer in the eyes. I'm actually going to take from the Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus Palette. That little bronzer type shade that I used. I'm just going to take that and pop that in the crease. Just give a little dimension to the eyes. And voila, very nice look. I feel like I do a lot of like, it's not like full glam, full glam, but for me it's like kind of full glam looks a lot. So I actually want to start doing some more natural kind of light, easy, on the go makeup looks, which I really normally don't do. It normally takes me a long time. So this is very exciting and new for me to try out and do more of so i am so very happy about these products the rare beauty blush the rare beauty contour um stick the glowgasm by charlotte tilbury the powder by charlotte tilbury and the calia uh, pistachio it is amazing i was so excited to get these products um these are products that have definitely been on my wish list for a long time so i was very happy to get these and they perform just beautifully like as you can see it's a very nice beautiful soft look and i am very excited about this makeup so i'm very happy to be able to add this to my collection Thank you so much everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed and um i thank you for watching and seeing what i got from sephora and um just having fun with me while i was applying it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye